you guys, VB Snipes here from Team Epiphany, and this is a setup video slash tutorial uh, slash review of the Elgato HD PVR um, right here. And some of you guys have been asking me questions about this as to, um, you know, is it good? How do you set it up? How do, does it work on the Xbox? And so I haven't really seen a lot of videos like this on YouTube, so I'm going to explain it all. Um, the Elgato ITV HD PVR does work with Xbox 360, works with PS3, Wii, anything like that. Um, that's not something that they really promote on their website as much as like the Hapog and stuff, so it was kind of confusing when I first bought it. But it does definitely work with the Xbox. Um, one of the main reasons I actually bought this was because it works with the Mac, and as you can see here, I got my MacBook Pro set up with it, and it is one of the only two HD PVRs that I could find that works with the Mac. There might be more, but there was uh, this and the Hapog, and now the Hapog is good for the Mac. Um, it is basically the same thing. You can actually record in 60 frames per second with the Hapog as opposed to 29.9 uh with the Elgato HD PVR which isn't that big of a deal unless you want to do like super slow mo and stuff like that but the Elgato HD PVR comes with ITV and uh ITV is what you use to record on the Mac and the Hapog doesn't come with that so you would have to buy that separately anyway as you can see here it's got I've got it open uh in ITV which is uh just showing it through here you know you can uh, stop record and uh, one of the cool things is also because it is a HD PVR, you can kind of go back. So if you're not recording something, you're playing Call of Duty, um, not so much now for Black Ops because um, you can go back and view it. But if you're playing any games where they don't have a theater mode, you can actually just skip back. Um, you won't really see much here because I'm just on the main menu. But you can actually skip and uh, record from there and click in case something happens. You don't want to be recording while you're playing. So anyway, I'm going to go behind the TV here and just show you guys how I set it up. So I've got my... Elgato HD PBR box here, and then behind the TV is a cluster of cords. Now, going into the box, you have your component cables as well as your audio cables. Now, this is my recording monitor, so I don't actually use the audio through the TV, but you can get a splitter for it, um, but I don't need it, so it just goes straight into here from the Xbox down here. Um, and then the component cords come from a splitter, which is up here. And so if I go here beside the TV, you can actually just see um, I've got the Xbox cords, the then the splitter cords that come down here. And so this is just obviously the Xbox cords, and then this is a male to male, and then this is a male and two female uh, splitter. And I've got three of these above for each one of the component cords. And I actually went, when I went to Best Buy to go buy these, um, I went to a couple stores because I didn't have the exact ones that I wanted. Uh, these actually turned out to work really well, but each one, and this might happen to you guys, but every time I went, I went to about three Best Buys, and everyone said that this wouldn't work because it's supposed to go from male to female and male to female. So you'd have the video coming in here and splitting out, as opposed to the video coming in here, going to the TV, and then one coming out here. Every one of them told me it wouldn't work, but they're, I think, about 20 cents each, uh, maybe 50 cents. So I said, well, whatever, I'll just buy it and try it out, because I couldn't find them, and they said the other ones wouldn't be in stock for a while. So I did get them, and um, they work fine. The only issue I have, and I'm not sure if it's because of my splitters, um, this might not happen with you guys, but you can't really tell at all, um, especially when you've been playing for a while, but it does affect the screen very slightly. It just puts a little bit of a... Um, darkening on the screen but it's not a big issue um, and if you really want the full effect you can always just pull the spares out until you're recording so of course down here we have the Xbox cords and I have the component going to the splitter so it's going into the TV so you can view it and then out through here and into your Elgato um, HD PVR and I will uh, let you guys know that you cannot have the Xbox cords going into the uh, Elgato HD PVR you can um, but you can't view it on the computer. I know it has a big screen on the computer, but it is very delayed, so you can't actually play. Um, I think there's about a five second delay between what happens here, what happens on the uh, computer. Um, so I'm just going to turn on the Xbox controller and give one of you, you guys uh, one of the biggest secrets about the uh, Elgato HD PVR that uh, I had to figure it out on my own after lots of research. And eventually I just came across it, and it was a big problem. You actually can't record in 1080p. It has to be 1080i. If you plug it all up, um, I got it out of the box, I ripped it out of the box, plugged it all up, wanting to record something, and it wouldn't show up. It was saying, you know, error, and again, because, um, I'm not sure, if there's other videos like this, 
but um, because there were no videos uh, recording the ITV with the Xbox, nobody was saying anything. Everyone was just setting it up and it was all working fine. And then I finally figured out that to record with the Xbox, you actually have to go to your system settings and change it uh, from, you go down to your console settings and then you just go to display and see I have it on 1080i, you have to have it on 1080i, you can't have it on 1080p. Um, the Elgato I, or sorry, the Elgato HD PVR does record in 1080p, but it uh, has to get it through 1080i, which is interlaced. Um, I don't know a lot about that stuff, so I'm not really sure why it does this. Uh, it doesn't really affect the quality at all, but it's just one thing that you have to do to record. And that is a huge deal uh, for me because I sat there for five hours cursing this thing because it wouldn't record uh, my gameplay. But uh, I eventually got it to work, so that's that. And once you have it here, you can kind of see a bit of the delay uh, between the two screens. But uh, once you have it all set up here, that's all you need. Um, just if you guys want like an, an overview of what you need, you need three splitters, uh, a male-to-male -male component cord, um, your Xbox, and a Mac computer. And if you look back here, the cord from the ITV to the Mac isn't actually that long, so you might want to get an extension. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, everything comes in the box, uh, so I'm going to go ahead here and just show you guys how you record. Uh, on your ITV, you go up to the record button, and you literally just press record, and you'll record some stuff. Sorry for the little bit shaky camera here. Let's put my arm. And then once you have it recorded, you just go here, and here's all your recordings. Click it, and then you can just go to export, and you can export it to any file, and of course you can use it on the Mac, you can use it in any program. Um, the only thing, the only thing I found an issue with this is the uh, not having to record 60 frames per second, but that's just for me because I like to do montage and stuff, so I like to do super slow-mo, but it shouldn't be an issue. So uh, yeah, other than that, I highly recommend this. Um, I'm sure you can probably find cheaper ones. I think I got this for about $200. Um, Plus, I think like a buck fifty for the splitters, and it actually comes with mail to mail cords. So, all you need to buy are the splitters separately. That's the only thing. Um, I highly recommend it if you have a Mac computer. I was looking for a long time, I used to use a black dazzle, um, and those things are just terrible. I mean, they're, they're good for when you're starting out, but when you get uh, into some more advanced stuff, you want uh, higher quality. So, uh, I highly recommend it, guys. I hope this video has helped. Um, I think the main thing you want to take out of this video, and I know a lot of people um, who I've talked to have had the same issue, is that 1080i thing. Uh, switch it over there, and you should be able to record. Um, but other than that, yeah, so it is a very good product, and I uh, hope you guys like this little tutorial. Um, sorry for some of you guys who uh, wanted this as a tutorial on how to record without using some software device, but uh, you actually need it, so there's no other way to do it. But. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.